Hey there, Postal here. So today we're going to be looking at what is becoming one of my favorite tier 10 planes in the game. Uh, very quickly, no pun intended. <laughs> this is the Javelin. Let's hop right into a game. I really, really like this plane. Let me just get that out of the way. Um, I know I posted a video on the XF90 last week. Um, it wasn't even all that long ago. But I thoroughly enjoy this plane. Um, it's not an easy plane to play. You know, you have four 30 mil cannons. Um, this was a video. I'm, I'm really tempted to post like a compilation video of all of the Javelin games I've been playing because I've got a lot of solid games. But I wanted to post this one because this one was one of the first ones I played when I got back into it. Um, and I just wanted to kind of show shows this gameplay but also what I've learned from this gameplay. Um, you know just like almost any of the heavies at tier 10 um, I'm up to 700 miles an hour, and I'm cruising right past the mining facility. To me, I want to go ahead and get this command center that's over here. And let's go ahead and start hurting things. It has four 30 millimeter cannons, and anybody that's used 30 millimeter cannons in this game knows they can be pretty fickle. Um, but they can also hurt like that Jawa just learned. Um, you don't turn with anything in this plane. Well, you don't turn with any lights or any um, multi rolls lights. Any fighters or multi roll fighters. Whee! Uh, you can turn with some of the heavies. You can definitely turn with the bombers and most of the GAs. Um, but all in all, you really want to maintain your airspeed. And this maintains airspeed very, very well if you look here. Um, that plane went from about a thousand feet behind me to fifteen hundred feet behind, no, twenty five hundred feet behind me, and I was just going straight up at m almost five hundred miles an hour. And here I make um, some frustrating mistakes. Um, I thought I could turn tight enough to get some shots onto that GA, and I was just nowhere close. And I'm just turning. I'm wasting my energy, um, both literally and figuratively. And I should be straightening back out, which I did got a couple good hits but with this plane just like any um, any of the planes that have 30 mil cannons you really can't uh, or shouldn't anyway um, get too frustrated with misses anytime I get any kind of hit on a plane it's a good day right I didn't kill the plane but that's fine I'll do an up and over and as long as I don't try to do an up and over too early I'll be able to get my guns back on target and take them out nicely done so the guns on this plane are on the wings, and that can cause some other issues. You can see how wide of a spread that this plane puts out. That's not... It, you just have to get used to it, right? I think it's one of the reasons why I like the F7U isn't overly um, loved. It's because it has uh, its cannons on the far side of the it's not even on the cowling it's on the wing I think still on the F7U but it's not it's not centralized like you kinda get used to and because they're not centralized on the javelin here it can make it really really difficult to hit anything that maneuvers um, even something like this hunter that you would think uh, could have been dead pretty long ago um, just some wiggling though and he was able to survive in fact I think that yeah that BVP was able to kill him not even me um, really you just kind of tap 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 this gun uh, you can hold down the trigger a little bit longer with the javelin than you can with like the hunter or the um, swift uh, but I still just my mentality is to kind of tap 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 if I need to hold it down to you know put down a burst to take out an airplane I'll do that but for the most part I just kind of want to save my um, guns from overheating. So I'm trying to um, cut this EF-131 off 
very 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 fast bomber but I figured I could um, if I came at the right angle I could uh, you know make sure I kill him before he does any real damage and this plane is really meant for taking out other heavies bombers and GAs with as wide of a stance as there is on where the guns are set um, wasting your time with too many multi rolls or light fighters is just going to be um, a game of frustration. Um, I was able to get that Jawa there, and I think I've actually got them a couple times, but they tend to be pain in the butt planes because they're so wiggly and maneuverable and small. Um, I think like key 162s are like the worst thing for this plane because they're so incredibly tiny. It's like the bullets go everywhere but central and that can just be uh, frustrating. So you can see I'm, I'm kind of syncing up with my guns a little bit more. Um, you know, the joke is, you know, when in doubt, aim further out when you've got 30 millimeter cannons, and you really want to do that. They're pretty slow projectile, um, but they, they certainly hit hard. And you see my tax with this plane is, you know, just cruise around as quickly as you can, try not to bleed too much energy, and um, you know what's the next target and you know you you can turn a little bit but really that should be a last 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 resort um, this can pitch up and pitch down pretty well but it's just again you're, you're gonna be wasting time usually I'm probably wasting time with this hunter all right gosh, I am. and yet I'm still turning with him I guess because there's nobody else around here You'd be asking for trouble, honestly, if you're, you're trying to dogfight anybody. So I continue on past him. Speaking of keys that are pains to hit. Uh, come on. Thank you. Look at that. That was actually like one of the few times I've been able to get a key. Probably because he's up so high. Yeah, I just like this plane so much. And I've been playing it quite a bit. This was one of my earlier games, like I said. But um, I've been playing it a lot, quite a bit recently. And uh, just having a large amount of fun with it. And yeah, I just look at the map and I say, okay, what's what's next on the agenda here? And kind of boost up. And what I'm up to 600 miles an hour, and I don't even really feel like I'm you know, pushing the envelope or anything like that. Um, you know, holding on to my boost even. I still have 15 seconds of it left. And yeah, just <laughs> tearing guys up here. Um, these German uh, GAs are pretty maneuverable. Heck, they probably have a better turning radius than I do. And I was expecting this guy to be turning around. Uh, you know, the GAs usually turn around sooner, and so unfortunately I turned earlier than I should have. Um, so kind of kind of wasted the opportunity to kill him, which is a shame considering the game's almost over. Uh, what are we, like six minutes into this game? Pretty quick game. Uh, but the javelin can do that if um, you know if you're left to your own. Uh, this can dictate quite a bit, and even if I mean, if plenty of games, I was really tempted to post a video where I was um, you know in a chess match with an XF90. You know, this plane is very good against other um, human heavies. Uh, it can really carry a battle. So. Uh, not the most personal points I've gotten in this, but uh, I thought it was a little bit of everything that this plane could do. Also showed you what you shouldn't do. And um, yeah, let's head on back. Alright, so I was able to get, uh, what, 12 frags there? I can't even read this, holy cow. Um, but did a little bit of everything, right? We were able to capture what we needed to capture. It was 12 frags. Um, killed four bombers and GAs, uh, which this plane excels at. I absolutely love when the other team gets a bomber run because um, javelins just chew up bombers and you know it's don't turn you're in a tier 10 heavy fighter don't turn you're the fastest thing out there typically use your speed use your incredibly hard-hitting guns and beat up on everything anyway so for me to be um, specialized in this plane, I just need, what, 23 more frags in it, uh, one more ca um, sector captured. Um, and then, yeah, then what am I going to do? I'm going to speed it up some more. Actually, I'm probably going to put a little bit of balance. I'm probably going to put a little bit of maneuverability, maybe on the airframe, maybe on the engine. I don't know. I'll fool around with it and see. Um, 
I didn't even realize I've got stock GOA on this thing. I need to upgrade that. Yeah, yeah. I prefer, I mean, I, I like what I've got on it right now, and it doesn't tend to overheat, so putting, um, putting um, the, what, the bolt carriers, is that what it is? Yeah, I, I don't really think that's a necessity on this plane. I get the um, rate of fire and the cooldown rate, yeah, so the GOA is perfectly fine for me and, and it's been doing me well. I definitely don't need long gun barrels on it because, you know, they shoot out to 2600 feet and yeah, you're good to go. Uh, I do have it set up for, you know, speed and beyond speed with the improved mixture control. It's just the way I like to play it. Um, I figure it's got speed, so let's go ahead and get more speed and that way you can get where you need to go. You saw in this battle that I was basically in whatever sector I wanted to be in and it didn't take me very long to get to the next sector at all and that's exactly what you want to be in this plane because if there's bombers attacking somewhere there's GA attacking somewhere and you need to get there to either defend it or you need to get to a sector to capture it I want to get there quick the one thing that this plane is lacking is bombs and not that you necessarily need it um, something that I want to point out about the battle that you just saw is there was a couple times especially in the beginning there at that um, command center where I really should have been using my guns for ground targets these 30 millimeter cannons I mean there's four of them they're putting out now they're putting out 1400 damage a second um, there's no reason why I can't use them against ground targets you really should be using them against ground targets if the opportunity is there and the opportunity was there while I was in between um, attack modes so anywho I hope this um, you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave some insight to the plane, and um, yeah, hope you hope you're enjoying your day. Um, are you grinding down the British heavy line? I know it's kind of a slog from a lot. Not a lot of people like it from tier six through eight even. Um, to me, I quite enjoyed those planes. I've talked about them previously. Um, it, but you know that's just me. I'm happy to give some some helpful uh, tips for how I enjoyed and how I played well in those particular planes if you'd like. Uh, but otherwise, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.